Hi, this is Tommy Hall with MathNook.com, and if you're coming in from another side and aren't familiar with MathNook, we have over 200 free math games to play as well as free fun games to play. There's never any membership or sign-up required. Okay, this is a, um, an overview, video overview of how to play this, the subtraction version of Math Balloons. It's a match three game, and if you've played the other game, uh, the other versions with that practice different skills, it plays pretty much the same. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at the game. And when you first start up, this would be the uh, menu you see. Uh, here's a, if you click this, you'll see the written instructions. This will take you to this video tutorial. And clicking this will take you to the games uh, where you can play other games on MathNote. Okay, let's go ahead and click Start. And now you can select if you want to play with uh, problems that have answers up to 20 or up to 10. Let's go ahead and select the one that have answers up to 10. And when you first start out, you won't have any scores down here. You will only be able to play this first level. The other three will be locked. As you complete this level, a short, your score will show up, and uh, this level will be unlocked. You can always go back and play a level again to get a higher score if you wish. But uh, and let's go ahead and uh, click on the see the first level, and I'll show you how to play. Okay, the object of the game is to complete each level. And the way you do that is by um, making matches over these boxes so that uh, all the uh, backgrounds on every square on the level are, are yellow. Right now you have these right here that have gray backgrounds and these have black and these two are locked. So if you make a match of three balloons in a row that are the same color over these, the boxes with the gray backgrounds, they'll turn yellow. And if you make it over a black one, it'll turn gray, and you'll have to make another match over it to turn it yellow. To, these will not move at all until you unlock them, and the way you unlock them is to make a match using them. And then, then they'll become unlocked, and then you'll have to make matches over them again to make the black background gray and the gray to yellow. This, this indicator here, the clock tells you how much time you have to complete a level. This tells you how many li lives you have. If you run out of time or lose all your lives, the game will, uh, the level will be over, and you'll have to go back and, and try to play again to complete it. The way you lose life is by answering a question incorrectly, and I'll show you how that works in a minute by answering one incorrectly. This button here, if you click it, it'll restart the level, and I'll show you how to, that works because I'm going to go ahead and reset the time on this. Um, this will take you to the menu. This will toggle the sound on and off. Oh, I should say the music on and off. This will uh, toggle the sound effects off and on. And this will pause a game like that. And I'm going to go ahead and click this button. It'll start it again. So let's go ahead. Um, actually, I'm going to go ahead and uh, play this level because I want to show you how you'll unlock lock this uh, these balloons right here. So the way you answer a question is it'll show you a problem. And in this one, it says 5 minus 0 is equal to 5. I know that's true. I'm going to go ahead and click true, and the balloon goes away. And the balloons move uh, up here, move down. And I'm going to do it again to get this balloon here, in which this one matches will be made over here. And this one will turn yellow. This background will turn gray. These will, two will become unlocked. 8 minus 3 is 12. That's a false statement. So I'll go ahead and click false. And the match was made. So kind of looking around, trying to figure out how to make matches here. A couple things I could do, and I think I'll go ahead and uh, uh, drop these two pink looking balloons down here and make a match over these squares. 6 minus 0 is 6, that's true. 9 minus 6 is 3, that's true. True. And the uh, match is made, you notice the gray one turned yellow. Okay, I can uh, get rid of these three balloons, and I'll make a match with these orange ones by dropping them in over here. 5 minus 4 is 11. That's false. 5 minus 1 is 13. That's false. And actually, i got some bonus matches up hit, up there. And that's that's typical of a match 3 game. It's always good to make matches down low. As uh, once you do that, there's a lot of times a chain reaction will happen up, up top. So what I'm going to do now is, is rather than get rid of this balloon, I can get rid of this one. This one will drop here. A match will be made there. And then these match will be made below there. Actually, yeah, let me go ahead and try that. Not sure what it'll do because I think these three will drop down. 
this statement is false. Okay, made got rid of those three up there. So, well, on that one, I made a match here, which really didn't do anything other than bring other balloons down, but that's sometimes a good thing. Let's go ahead and just kind of change things up here. 9 minus 0 is 23. That's false. Make a match here. Bring some other balloons down. I'm kind of looking around to see a good place to make a match. Um, what I think I'm going to do here is uh, go ahead and keep dropping these balloons down until a blue one falls right here and I'll get rid of that uh, uh, black box. Okay, so 5 minus 3 is false. Uh, 4 minus 1 is 3, that's true. Uh, 7 minus 5, is, okay, so, uh, that's true. 8 minus 3, false. False. Nothing showing up yet, but uh, that's true. That's true. 4 minus 3 is nothing. False. True. I'll go through these as quick as I can. Still no blue one showing up. And I'm going to go ahead and answer one wrong so you can see what happens. 5 minus 3 does not equal 4, but I'm going to say it does. And I just get a new balloon and one of my lives is gone. 6 minus 1 is 5. That's true. 6 minus 0 is 6. That's true. Still no balloon. Still no blue one, which is kind of unusual, but let's go ahead. Uh, and I'm false. Um... My three falls, and there's a blue one, and a nine minus four. That's true. It's usually a lot easier than that, but uh, you just never know. Five minus three. Okay, that's true. Now, okay, getting rid of get the little chain reaction going on. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and drop this down just for true. I change up the board and see that really changed up the board and now I can go ahead and that's true and make the blue in there. Now I'm focusing on this game. I'm, uh, all on this level all I have left is these uh, gray ones right here. I'm going to go ahead I can see I can get rid of one right now. So true. There goes that. And now I've got to focus on, really focus on getting rid of these three. So the best thing I'm thinking to do is go ahead and maybe drop a green one hopefully keep answering questions until a green one drops down. So 7 minus 5, that's true. And there's a green one, 5 minus 3, that's true. And now i got a, these two left. i got three and a half minutes left, I mean almost four minutes left, and I ought to be able to do that. Um, so let's go ahead and, uh, and try to maybe drop some Maybe go blue across here, or maybe drop these two reds and then look for a red one here. So fine, that's true. Now all I got to do is get a red one in, so I'm going to keep answering these questions until one drops in. That's true. False. Actually, okay. Now I've got these two orange ones here. I can drop this one in. I'll get rid of this one. So go ahead and do true here. Now all I have to do is get this one and. I guess I'm going to go ahead and try for one of these orange balloons, so that's false. True. Nothing yet. Actually, okay, so it just changed up. I've got these two pink ones here. I can drop this one in, and I will complete the level. So that's true. And the level's through. There's my score. I have the option of going on to the next level, the menu, or submit my score. I'm going to go ahead and submit my score. Put in that pup. Um, we always suggest that you use a fun handle and not your real name. Um, so I'm going to submit that, and you can take a look at the scores. Because this is a new game, I'm the only one that's played it in a week. There's somebody else has played it, uh, probably the developer. And I'm going to go ahead and close that out. I'm going to go to the next level, and then we've got a totally different level. If I go back to the menu. You can see that I've completed the first one. I have a score there. I can actually try to beat that score. Or I can choose to play the second one, which I've not completed. Well, that's how you play. Uh, I hope you enjoy playing the game, and thanks for watching.